How the f does Google Maps know there's traffic ahead that doesn't even exist yet? To understand this literal time machine, we first need to see how Google even finds your fastest route. When you type in a destination, Google faces hundreds of possible paths. This is where Dijkstra's algorithm comes in. Think of it as the smartest calculator which calculates every route at keeping everything in mind. But there's a problem. Accidents happen, or literally anything can mess up your journey. This is where Google did something revolutionary. For over 13 years, they've been collecting historical patterns, meaning if Highway 101 flows at 65 miles per hour Tuesday mornings, then always jams to 15 miles per hour at 8.30 a.m. Google keeps this for every freaking road on Earth. But historical data alone isn't enough. Live data is equally important. So when thousands of phones on Highway 101 start crawling at 10 miles per hour, Google processes this through graph neural networks, which is an AI designed to understand how connected things affect each other, making it instantly know traffic is building. The final piece comes from Waze reporting accidents and hazards. So when you start driving, Google combines all three layers. Meaning, even though Highway 101 looks green right now, this process let Google know it'll be red when you arrive.